I really can't process or digest any of it until they tell me this is what we're doing. Because I realize this is a tough decision um, that will impact both sides of, of, the, of the coin. The common thread? What's best for students in Guilford County? Tuesday's decision will determine what model of learning this school year will bring. I think for us, um, virtual is extremely helpful. Um, you know, I, we, we're fortunate that um, one of us has the ability to work from home. Um, and so we can be home and if there's questions and help them out. Jason Caldwell has a rising sixth grader at Kaiser Middle School. While he admits there's no right answer to how to get kids back to school safely in the middle of a pandemic, his son was successful with virtual learning. Majority of the time, he was self-sufficient. Jason is on the district-wide pandemic task force created to tackle this very debate. He admits every student needs something different, so what works for his child may not work as well for others. I'm going to do a short lecture on American diversity. Meanwhile, teachers are wrestling with the options available, too. Smith High School history teacher and varsity volleyball coach Diamond Williams wants classes to be in person after the first five weeks. As a parent, as a teacher, as a coach, I need to see my babies. Um, they need to see me, um, but also just the relationship, social aspect of it. She even started a YouTube channel when the pandemic started back in March, giving her students the in-person feel so many of them miss. E pluribus unum, and that means out of many, one. And it's something she plans to keep regardless of Tuesday's decision. And Jason agrees, keeping social interaction has proven one of the biggest challenges for everyone. How then do we at home create a space so that they can interact with their, their classmates and their peers?